the I thought comes and with the I means an individual separated from everything else comes this imaginary world, the world of you reappears, which it disappeared in your absence. When you were sleeping and you weren't dreaming, the world of you disappeared. It wasn't there. It didn't exist. Your problems were not there anymore because you weren't there. You have to be there in order to have problems. If you're not there, then who's got the problems? Who's concerned about the world if you're not there? Because you're the one who's concerned about it. You're the one who wants it to change for better. But when you're not there, then who's there? It doesn't exist. So it disappears with you. It appears with you. With your sense of an individual. With your sense of separation, that you're separated from it. It reappears. Examine it for yourself. Don't believe what I'm telling you. I'm just pointing out. Go that direction. Try it. Check it out. Look at it for yourself. Don't just take my word. Please, don't. I don't want you to take my word blindly. I want you to go and examine it for yourself. Discover it for yourself. Realize it for yourself. So it's your own discovery. It's your own realization. I'm just pointing the finger, give you an alternative way. That's all I'm doing. But you got to do it on your own. How many times have you awakened in the morning in your life? You wake up. Your eyes are open and you don't remember who you are. Have you ever experienced that? You wake up and it's like maybe there is a 10 second, 15 seconds or whatever that you can't remember who you are. You're trying to, it happened to me a few times. I woke up and I'm like, where am I? I'm not talking about you wake up in someone else's bed and you're wondering who the hell are they. <laughs> I think a lot of times, a lot of us did it in our college days. Like you wake up the next morning, who the hell is this one next to me? Oh my God, what the hell did I do last night? <laughs> Now you wake up and you can't remember your name. It happened to me one time, I don't know, 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. I couldn't remember my name. I couldn't, I didn't know who I was, but I was right awake. I'm looking at my room, the bedroom, but I can't remember who, and believe me, I had not, I didn't drink the night before. I just can't remember my name. I don't know who I am. Because my consciousness had not identified with an individual person. But I'm awake. I'm alive, I'm awake. Consciousness is here, but it's not identified with somebody, something. And then, yeah, after, I don't know, 30 seconds, a minute or whatever, then I remembered who I was. I wasn't frightened, but I was like, couldn't really find out, couldn't really figure out. And then as I remembered who I am, my world came back. The world with its problems and everything else, it reappeared.
So this thing that you're really gone ho and you're really concerned about is not even real. But you have to experience it on yourself. You can't just brainwash yourself or re replace one spiritual conditioning with another spiritual conditioning and saying, okay, it's not real. So if it's not real, then I'm going to be re irresponsible to the world. I will do whatever I want. I can go to the store and steal and take something I want out of it because it's not real. I don't care. No, in this relative reality, there is consequences. And there is a sense that you have your own free will. And you, you operate accordingly to that. That even you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. You can't act like, you can act it. That's, if you're a responsible person, you're still going to follow your script, being responsible. If you're irresponsible, you're going to be irresponsible because it's already written. Let's just take a moment and kind of sink in, sink into what I was talking about. Let's just take it in before I give you more information. And while you're doing this, I'm just going to read some of the questions have come up and see what's going on. But just kind of stay here. Just come back here. Just kind of chew on what I shared with you. Just kind of absorb it because it's a lot of stuff. And for some of you that you're new to this, it's going to take a little bit time for it to sink in because this is really off the chart for some of you. It's really like, what? I never, you know, what are you talking about? What planet do you come from? What kind of stuff you've smoked? Just kind of sit with it and just absorb it. See if it makes any sense, if it takes you anywhere, if it resonates with your heart before you reject it or accept it or want to examine it more. <clears throat> 